Right, good morning. My name is Trevor Chalkley. I'm one of the guys here, um, also known as uh, TC. Uh, I'm also one of the actually qualified deputies here. One of the things that we have to do, because it's still classed as a working coal mine, is actually go on the ground and do various safety checks every day to make sure that the mine is safe for anybody to enter. Not only that, just to make sure that the mine is still in good condition. We just can't walk away and leave it to itself. Because the mine can still give off gas, that gas is methane, this is the government classes it as a working mine. As a working mine, we have to stick to the same rules and regulations as we did before. Some of those rules and regulations are called contraband, so that's one of the reasons why we can't take smoking materials in the ground. It's got obviously smoking materials that put in the ground methane. So, once, a, once a, every morning we have to go on the ground, we have to um, go in as officials, as deputies, and we're looking for things such as like uh, making sure that the roadways are intact, that we have uh, support intact, that we've got no falls of ground, that it's safe for people to pass around the mine. We're also looking for flooding. Because all the pits around here have actually uh, closed and they've actually filled with water, their water runs towards us. As it runs towards us, in order to be able to pass through the mine we have to make sure that it gets dry. By doing that we actually pump water out. So we have to pump at least a minimum of a million gallons of water a day out. So we've got to make sure that the, that the mine is safe to actually pass through there. One of the main things that we have to look at as, as, uh, as a deputy is that we have to make sure that the mine is being ventilated correctly. Ventilation is used uh, to go around the mine, taking away all this uh, gas whilst taking away any dust, and also while providing oxygen, because without oxygen we will not be able to go into the mine. We have to make sure that there is a minimum of 19% oxygen. Any less than that, then it isn't safe for anybody to go into the mine. The various ways that we're actually testing for gas is the thing where I've got here, this is a multi gas uh, testing uh, kit, it's called an Altair. You can hear it bleeping away there. It's testing for four gases. The main gases that we're actually looking for is oxygen, obviously, uh, that's showing 20, 20 uh, at least there. Uh, cab, uh, carbon oxide, carbon oxide naturally telling us whether we've got any fires on the ground, it's a product of combustion. Carbon dioxide, which we don't really bother too much with, but we can get it in some of the low light places. So that one is a is actually a digital reading. The more the more safer way is actually using the old minus safety one. That way it's 100 percent sure, whereas that one can actually fail. So we take both with us every morning and we're actually going around the mine to check in for any, uh, any problems with the ventilation. The other thing that we have to do is check is firefighting equipment. Underground, one of the biggest fears that we've got is fires. So we have to make sure that we have a, an adequate supply of water underground by a, a, a firefighting range. We have hoses uh, situated in strategic parts of the mine where we've got a couple of two hydrants. We have to make sure those hydrants work, that the holes are in place, and that we've actually got sufficient water to the water. Because we've got people passing through the mine like any other mine, in, pla in places around the mine we've got first aid equipment we have to make sure that goes in. So those are the daily checks that we're actually doing as deputies. Now then, one of the other jobs that I have here is that I actually act as the ventilation officer, fire officer. Ventilation officer, once a week I have to go down and we have to actually check that the air is flowing around correctly. But we have two fans on the ground, uh, uh, cap out. we have one on the surface, we have one on the ground. The one on the ground is only there for any time that we might may use it, because they're not going really fun. But once a week I have to check that, that fan can, can deliver the right quantity of air. On the surface, we've actually got what we call the main fan, and the main fan is delivering enough air for to supply the miners to keep it safe from any gas while providing oxygen. To do that, I have a piece of equipment like this. That is called anemometer. It's there to actually record the actual speed of the air that's passing through the mine. By working out the area of the roadway, the speed that the air is actually passing, I can actually determine how, 
how much air is actually passing through the mine. But at this moment in time, we have round about six cubic metres of air um, uh, effect going on the ground. That doesn't mean anything to anybody, but when it was a working coal mine, we used to have ten times that amount. And a big modern coal mine, like Kelly, we would probably have something like 350 cubic metres. But what we have to do at Kelly at uh, Depart is just supply enough just to keep the place nice and sweet. Once a month, I have to go down and I have to make sure that every part of our mine that is open to the public is receiving near that correct amount of air to keep it safe. To do that, I have to go down with a very fine anemometer and I have to actually make sure that we're actually supplying the air where we need it and that it's not short circuited anywhere else. The other thing I have to do, I have to take air samples. What I'm going to do here, I'm, I'm going to pump this, I'm going to pump. Right. And what that will do is actually pump air into that tube there. Those tubes are then taken, taken away and they're sent away to the laboratory where they're actually sam uh, the samples are actually uh, examined. And obviously we're checking for the amount of oxygen that we have, the amount of methane that we have, the amount of carbon oxide as well as carbon dioxide. They, they're sent away once a month and then they will send the reading back to 